Hi, and welcome to Steve's Car Flip. We're going to have six cards today, and we also have Tim's covers on this channel and Steve's poems. So take this as it resonates, you know, what works for you works for you, and what doesn't doesn't, it may work at another time. You can use this reading for any time you want to come back to it, yeah, totally fine. So I tend to shuffle, and I stop when I feel comfortable, so I'll get shuffling. I hope you're all well. Ask God and the animals what position they have for everybody at the moment. Stop. Okay. We have the wood ox, and it says knowledge brings wisdom. Okay. So you are an abundance of knowledge, and a lot of times just going quiet and going within you can access that knowledge from your higher self you can also go and seek knowledge out in the world and find out lots of different things but um however you find your knowledge and knowledge comes to you you know you then become a person with more knowledge that is able to share that with others so knowledge is always a benefit it's an asset and it's to be used wisely so the knowledge that you learn may then benefit others in the future. So it may be like the student eventually becomes the teacher. You may learn something very important to you and then eventually you may teach that at a later time. But even getting some quiet time in your day and going within, you are able to access a lot of knowledge that way. So that's also a very important thing to do and it also helps to keep you grounded and balanced. So moving on to the next card. And the wood is a very passionate element as well, and the ox is basically a very passive, docile creature, but um, not to be upset because it can also become very angry if you upset the ox. So, but they do have a wonderful nature. So I'm shuffling, and I'll stop when I feel comfortable. And I got the wood dragon. You have the strength. So I'm holding it up. Okay. So I've got my cat wandering around at the moment, so please be patient with me. She's drawn to these readings sometimes. So you have the strength, but once again, wood is a passionate element. So um, yeah, there's a lot of passion and emotion with this. You may feel at the moment in your life that you don't have the strength to do something. You do have the strength. You know, it may seem hopeless and things may seem against you. Take some downtime, just get yourself together and breathe and realize some things take time. Some things aren't achieved overnight and you do have the strength to do this. It is within you. You just need to find it. Like I said, you just may need a little downtime to get your strength back, you know, or do something in order to strengthen your body, but then proceed when you're ready and go forward. So moving on to the next card, and these are numerology cards. So I shuffle these and ask God and the moon what message should I have for everybody for, for 10 days after you see it. So I've got it then. The moon. What have we got? Okay. This is a new moon in Gemini. Communication is key. Okay. Whatever is going on in your life at the moment, communication is key at the moment. Um, obviously, by communicating, you get information, you get facts. There must be something important that you're meant to, to give to somebody or information that you're meant to receive. Um, people that feel isolated need to get out and start communicating with people as well so they don't feel alienated from the world. And just in general, communication can bring a lot of people together and just get a lot of ideas coming forward. So I'm shuffling the next card. I've got in the moon. What message do they have for everybody for the next 10 days? I want to stop here. Sorry, I'm getting a bit messy. Okay. A fiery climax approaches. Hold it down a bit. Sorry, I'm a bit high. So I'll put that here. Okay. So if something comes to a climax in the very near future, just realize that it was meant to happen and don't get too emotionally drawn into it. Just realize it's just one of those things you may not agree with the person. It may not be you that's in the situation, but you may have to witness it and be around it. I just realize these things happen. Sometimes people see things differently. Some people, sometimes people are both right in their own way. Um, just look for the bigger picture in the situation. You may have to be the bigger person and just do you and sort out what you feel is right for you. 
So I'm shuffling the cards once again. Ask God in the moon what messages does I have for everybody for the next 10 days. Oh, sorry, I've got to change cards. I'm getting confused. Okay, these are affirmation cards, but I like them, they're cool. So I shuffle these cards. Ask God and the butterflies what messages do they have for everybody at the moment. 10 days after they seize. Okay. So I'll read this, this bit of writing. Every day I am stronger, braver, and wiser. I live and grow in harmony with the universe. Okay. So I hold that down. So this is very similar to the other message that we got before. So this is telling you that you grow stronger and wiser as a person, which ties in with a lot of the cards we actually had. So um, you grow as a person as you go throughout life. You gain wisdom and strength and experience. So that is a real cool message and it is something that we need to realize, you know. Sometimes we don't feel strong, but we actually are strong and we just need to get ourselves and get our energy together. But we're gaining wisdom and knowledge and experience as well. So that's a cool thing. So shuffle for everybody for up to 10 days and see what message we've got for everybody. And this will be my last card. Okay. I dare to dream of wonderful things happening in my life. Okay, so I'll hold that up for you. Turn it around so you can see that. Look up. This card is telling you to dream of wonderful things in your life and the fact that you can do wonderful things in your life. And sometimes it's just how we see things. Sometimes even seeing things as already being achieved can bring it to you. And if you are working towards a goal, don't obsessively chase it. Sometimes you have to remove your energy and just work towards it, you know? You want it so bad that you actually push it away from you. So that is my last card, and I'm sending you lots of love and light. And until next time, I will catch you later. Okay, bye.